Hello! Today's lesson is about Genesis chapter 2, verses 4 through 9 and 15. Now, previously, we had heard from Pastor Pam about the story of creation, and this week, I have the privilege of talking to you about another story of creation. Now, if you're curious about why the Bible has two stories of creation in it, well, that's a good thing to be curious about if you ask me. Our Bible, God's Holy Scripture, has been written by many different prophets over a very, very long time. And many of the stories in the Old Testament are so old that they were told long before people figured out how to write things down. Scholars do think that two different sources may have written these two creation stories, but ultimately both are in the Bible because they both tell the same story. God created all things, and that includes human beings. The difference is, in this story, we see that God created us out of so much love that he started to give meaning to our lives. Jesus would come to earth a whole lot later, and he would clarify the purpose of our lives, but the earliest duty that human beings have can be found in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, the very end of the lesson. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to till it and keep it. Now, how we do this, how we do this maintaining of the garden, is what I think we really need to talk about today. I'm going to start off with a little bit of a story. A few years back, I lived on a farmhouse in a very rural part of northern Ohio. It was previously my grandparents' house. They built the place. And I would sometimes hear stories about the nice-sized vegetable garden that they used to have there. When they were getting older, gardening was a little bit too hard of work for them to do, and it was all planted over with grass. Well, very early in the spring one year, I decided that I was going to start up that vegetable garden again. So I made a plan. I figured out the soil, or I, I, I figured out uh, the space that I would need. I, I took care of the grass and the weeds. I tilled up the soil, and then I got seeds in the ground. Now, this was the first time that I ever tried to do something like growing things on my own, and I really wasn't sure what the end result would, would be, but I did know how to care for a garden. I did know how to water plants without overwatering them, and I knew how to mix in plant fertilizer, mix it into the soil to keep the vegetables fed. And I was surprised when over and over that first summer, I was able to harvest lots of things like sugar snap peas and okra and zucchini and tomatoes, and by the end, even one fairly large pumpkin. But if you don't keep up on the gardening, if you don't prune away the dead vines and the branches, and especially if you don't take the time to maintain the weeds, your garden, which might have started out looking very good, is going to turn into a rather ugly-looking jungle. You see, while I did put in the time and the hard work to set up the garden, I got a little bit lazy, and I didn't take the time or the energy I needed to maintain the garden. The garden looked great at the start, but I let things go for way too long, and it just became a mess. And that's what I think we all need to do. We all need to take the time we need to make sure that our garden, the planet, is maintained. One of the reasons that we were created as we were was so that we can be smart and do the hard work to keep up on the garden. And when we don't do that, if we aren't careful with what we do to the garden, our planet, 
well, this nice little garden or planet of ours can become corrupted. And if it gets corrupted, people can suffer. Now, many of you probably heard this story. It was about 90 years ago now, in the 1930s, that uh, we all learned a valuable lesson about environmental care and how to properly till the soil on the planet that we have been given. In the 30s, mostly in areas to the west of where we are now, there were a number of great dust storms that were created. And they were created mostly due to how people were trying to grow crops. At that time, the entire country was still dealing with some of the issues after the Great Depression. And the farmers, our people who do the hard work of tilling the soil and trying to feed people, they were using the best tools they could and the smartest methods that they knew about at the time. However, because of where we were trying to use the land, when a drought struck the Midwest, the crops did not grow, and when the crops did not grow, there is nothing to hold the soil down. And things got very bad, of course. It was April 4th, 1935, when a great big dust storm blew through Oklahoma, and it was so bad that it would become known as Black Sunday. And two, sometimes clouds of dust would even blow east, moving over where we are in the Des Moines area, and then moving over to Chicago and Cleveland, and even sometimes making it to Washington, D.C. Now again, this is just one lesson that we have learned about properly taking care of the environment. Growing food for people is a very important job and is a very noble profession, but we all have to take care to try to not grow that food in certain places and in certain ways where it might cause more harm than good. We have come a long way since the first human beings, and we have learned many, many things about our world, how it works, and how to properly take care of it. We have learned that we can work smartly, even though we have to oftentimes work hard. In our Christian life, as we learn to follow the example of Jesus, we learn that we can love our neighbor by properly taking care of our environment. And when we do that, we are loving God. We don't need to look much farther than ourselves and our families to start taking care of creation. Being mindful about the big stuff is good, like how not to cause more dust storms in the future, but doing the work of God can start small as well. The extra few moments that it takes to pick up loose bits of trash that you might see laying around outside is one simple thing that we can do that could end up making a big difference in our world. And it might be hard work sometimes, like weeding a very large garden is a lot of hard work, but working hard and maintaining the world lets the beauty of creation shine through and it proclaims God's love to all the world.